Hail to thee, blithe spirit, bird thou never wert, that from heaven or near it pourest thy full heart in profuse strains of unpremeditated art. That flying bird theme came out of actually when I changed career. It was a real symbol of me changing career because at that moment, not only was I walking away from a corporate life, I also unexpectedly became a single parent. I'd also ended up losing my house and, you know, losing everything really. So I was at that point in my life where I had to start again from scratch. And although it was really difficult and really hard, Actually, because I'd left so much behind, I also felt really free and happy because I was finally being able to be creative. That's what the flying birds represent to me. One of the signatures of my work is colour. Um, a lot of it is really vivid, bright colour, and that's because I absolutely love colour. And I think it has a really, um, quite a big effect on us, actually. Probably often more of an effect than we realise. And I absolutely love colour and it makes me feel really happy. In the golden lightning of the sunken sun, o'er which clouds are brightening, thou dost float and run like an unbodied joy whose race is just begun. There's another theme that runs through, which is the plants and the natural forms. I had my very first garden that was actually mine, that I could actually plant and watch the flowers grow. And I found it completely fascinating. And I loved watching that whole cycle of being able to plant a little bulb, watch the shoots come up, watch the whole plant grow and then die. Even when things start to get really old, and imperfect and wrinkled and start to break down, actually there's still so much beauty there. And in fact they become, and sometimes they can become even more beautiful. I had a really clear idea of what I wanted, which was clear glass, but I wanted some colour in it and I wanted something that was very clean and simple because I wanted it to support my lampshade but not take away from it. I ended up really still wanting to produce the glass in Britain. Finally, um, a really big glassworks recommended this wonderful um, family-run glassworks called Langham Glass in Norfolk. I worked with the master glassmaker. He hand moulded um, and sort of hand um, made the very first samples. And we worked together to get the perfect curve, the perfect size, the perfect shape. Um, and then once the molds were made, then each lamp base is hand blown into the mold and then hand cut, hand finished, hand washed, hand polished. And it's a really beautiful crystal glass, high quality crystal glass that they're made and actually um, if you see the process, so much care is put into them. I suppose what I want is that my business and everything I produce from the designs and the art and the whole sense of the business is that what people experience when they see it is that real sense of happiness and joy in life and strength, which is what I feel creating it and I would like that to be the product that I put out in the world. Mm -hmm.